Good day everybody, we got a very special video for you guys today and this is something I get asked quite a bit. So now on the Budget Overland project we're going to hook up the relays for the aftermarket lights. Now we're not using the switch setup that they got, we're going to use the switches in the box. So is there going to be any differences? This is where it may confuse some people when it comes to wiring up the relay. So let's have a look and see how we're going to figure it out. So this is the box I built for the solar generator. We're going to be using these two lights right here, roof lights and side lights. And Nightlight had gave us some lights to build this project. And this is the relay wiring schematic they gave us. Except we're going to scrap it. So let's have a closer look at this. So you can see right here, the red wire on the fuse connects directly to the battery. So this red wire right here is the one that we're going to connect on this terminal or that one depending on how we're going to go and then final looking okay these white and black which are these end ones are going to go to our lights but we're only going to use the one we're not going to use the uh the shorter one where the heck it is yeah they're right here so we're going to hook up both lights to these ones and then according to the switch you can see right here black is ground white goes back up to the relay and this other red wire that's not on the relay goes to the car battery so what I can tell you right now is this white wire is the wire that's going to energize the relay bridge the contact to allow power to flow from this view switch which is going to go out to the power that being said that white wire is the one that's going to be connected to my switch so let's just hook up the wiring right now with a multimeter and we'll have a look so you can see right here black is connected to my terminal the red that is fused from the relay is connected to there which leaves us this white wire coming out and then the wires that go to the light which I have my multimeter plugged in so let's just hit the power sorry for the mess I got a lot of things going on here what the heck's going on with this thing there we go so you got 12.4 volts we're not reading anything there so now if i hit this and you see that as soon as i touch it i get 12 volts so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect it to the switch and then we're going to connect my cables from this onto this too and you'll see what I mean. So for video purposes, I plugged the, let me try to get a light on in there. Hopefully you can see the blank terminals. Anyways, the white wire is plugged into the terminal for the switch. So everything is plugged in. But I don't have it connected to this. We're going to show you that afterwards. So I'm reading no volts on the multimeter. 12.5 on the switch. Now when I hit this rocker I should have had power come out of there. Something is wrong. Alright, I got it fixed. We just had a bad connection. Now you can see 12 volts. Turn the switch off. Go back to nothing. Turn the switch on. Back to 12 volts. So now we're going to hook up the relays in the box and I'll show you again afterwards. Okay, this is how it is. You can see the relays inside there. White wires go down to the switch panel. The red wires go to the main power distribution block that comes from the main master switch. All I have to do now is re-hook up the power, connect the multimeter to my leads, and I should see some action. All right, we're hooked up. We got power. Leads are connected to one of them, not sure which one. Turn on the main disconnect. Is it the side lights? No, it's not the side lights. It's got to be the roof lights. Yeah, those ones are connected to the roof lights. 12 volts. Let's switch the connections here. So now when I press the side lights, it should come on. 12 volts. Turn them off. Nothing. 12 volts. Perfect. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Don't get too worked up about 12 volt power. 
there really is only a positive and a negative, that's it. And if you cross one or the other, you're either going to have a spark show or the fuse is going to blow. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you for following me along on the Solar Generator Project.